hi guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here i thought today i would do a what i eat in a day this is obviously not what i eat every day but because i had just done a little bit of grocery shopping that i thought this would be a perfect time to um try to do this particular vlogmas episode anyway first thing i do is drink coffee i'm not really a coffee person but i drink coffee every day i think like i'm one of those people who have it in their heads that my day can't start without coffee but like i'm not a coffee snob i can drink real coffee and be perfectly fine So for breakfast on this day, I decided to make myself some omelets. I usually almost every weekend make myself and the kids omelets. But ever since Milani left, I realized that Alwanda and I actually really don't eat home cooked meals. I haven't made omelets since Milani left. So I decided this was going to be a good day to make us some omelets. Um, all of this I'm um, basically making for myself. Alwanda only participated in dinner because Alwanda sleeps till two o'clock and you know what baby girl has had a rough year i let her sleep till whatever time she eats so from breakfast to lunch you're only going to see myself making food up until we get to dinner but anyways i just thought i'd explain that part but um i did make myself a very nice omelet and i was very happy with the result perhaps i can't save myself so i fade to Because I don't have a non-stick pan, I always worry about how my omelets are going to come out. And some days they come out well, some days they don't come out well. But on this day, I was very, very happy that it came out extremely well. It was like it was made in a restaurant and I was very chuffed with myself.
Keep it in here and lock it. Keep it in here, don't knock it. Before you try being on your own side for once, for once. But sometimes you fall. It is safe to say that I really enjoyed my meal. The only thing I couldn't finish was the tomatoes and only because I suffer from ulcers. So now and then I need to calm down on the tomatoes. Anyway, I had a, like a quick midnight midday snack after my probably two hours after I have it I had breakfast. I had fruits, just pineapples. Um, grapes and melons I usually have this with yogurt but I didn't have yogurt in the house that day so I just decided to have as it is before I knew it it was time to make lunch I have been really really trying hard to be on like a very healthy journey as mentioned since milani left we really haven't been cooking much we've been eating a lot of a lot of takeaways so that's why i made a conscious decision to actually go buy a few things so we can make food so i decided to make um wings with um and some some green salad i'm just spicing my wings with normal chicken spice here yeah, i also use this woody's one i swear by the spice it's literally a holy grail in this house i cook everything with it another sauce that i use someone had asked me what it's called it's this one it's called lapis braai sauce i buy it like pick and paste bar any like shop you'll find it it goes well with red meat chicken what else like whatever meat you're using whatever whatever meat you're eating i mean this sauce lapis goes well with anything that you do As much as I suffer from ulcers, I will not stop eating tomatoes. I actually love them, but they do get to me now and then. I'm also um, lactose intolerant, but I won't stop drinking milk. I won't stop eating chocolate. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> anyway, you guys, look at how great my salad came out. And also the wings came out perfectly. They were absolutely perfect. 
I'm not really a cook. I don't really cook a lot of meals, but the few meals that I do cook, I nail them. Anyone who knows me knows that you can never try me when it comes to these wings. Um, the reason why also I decked out my food like this is because my friend Kuniswa decided to come work with me. Um, we had load shedding and we decided, usually when we have load shedding, she comes work at my house. Always very, very nice to see her. And not only that, I do love cooking for other people. Cooking for yourself is great, but having someone else to appreciate your food is always welcomed. As mentioned, you guys, I don't really cook a lot of meals. I don't know how to cook a lot of meals, but the few meals that I do cook or that I can cook, I cook well. So I decided on this day, I actually wanted to make um, butter chicken, but I, I didn't realize that we had run out of the sauce. But because I had bought the wraps, it made sense to just actually just make wraps. And that's what we ended up making. Well, I ended up making for dinner. And out of all the meals that I made throughout the day, this is the only meal that Alwande caught because, as mentioned, baby girl wakes up at like 2 p.m. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever told you guys about the sauce. It's literally the holy grail of sauces. I use it on everything and every time I use it, people always go on about how amazing my meals are. <laughs> If you guys haven't noticed, I am obsessed with avo, avo and mushrooms. Those are the two things that I will eat all day, every day, and I put on everything. Also, when an avo looks this good, why wouldn't you be obsessed, please? Keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Cause I've been working all day. 
you guys know whether I'm doing a night routine or I'm doing what I eat in a day, if we are ending the video at night, it will end in wine being poured in slow-mo in a beautiful wine glass. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know and I'll try to do more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.